Hello class, good morning. Our lesson for this week is measuring electric and water consumption. So when you say electric meters, this record how much electricity is used. The unit for measuring electric energy used in our household is kilowatt hour. 1 kilowatt is equal to 1000 watts and a kilowatt hour is 1000 watts flow of electricity in an hour. So, for example, number one, the present and the previous readings on a digital meter are 52,318 and 53,847 respectively. Calculate the amount of electricity used for the given time. So how can you calculate for the amount of electricity used for a given time when the the present is 52,318 and the previous is 53,847. So simply subtract previous minus present. So 53,847 minus 52,318. The difference is 1,529 kilowatt so that means that the amount of electricity used for the given period of time is 1529 kilowatt hours so that's how we calculate so let's move in reading electric meter so how to read electric meter so the first step is stand directly in front of course look at the electric meter and at the four dials these are the dials okay four dials a b c d note that the pointers in adjacent dial move opposite direction so if this is okay um clock counterclockwise then this one is clockwise counterclockwise clockwise so the um note the pointers in adjacent dials move in opposite direction next is the points will alternately turn clockwise and counterclockwise so if this one will move um counterclockwise then the other one will move clockwise counterclockwise and clockwise so the dial ac move in counterclockwise a and c counterclockwise while b and d move in clockwise so the pointer in dial d will have to complete one revolution from zero mark to zero before the pointer on dial c move to one so after um dial d will um rotate in one revolution then pointer c will move to one so if another revolution for pointer d then it will move to two then after the um whole rotation of dial c then dial will be will move to one so it will start from dial d to dial c dial b and dial a so the same procedure applies to dial b and c and dials a and b and in step two okay always read all the dials from left to right so this means that you will um if you will read the meter or electric meter then you will start from a b c to d so always read all the dials from left to right followed by dial starting with dial a next is b c 
and D. If the pointer of any dial is in between two number, then read the lesser number. So this means that just like here, the pointer is in between 5 and 6, then read the lesser number. So this means that in letter A, you will read it as 5. Next. If the pointer points directly on one number and the pointer to the to the right is on or just past zero, then read the number, that number only. So another way of reading is, if the pointer points directly on a number and the pointer to the right is on or just past zero, then read that number only. So, for example, um, okay, I will give an example about this later. Next is, if the pointer to the right is not on zero, then read the lesser number. So, if we're going to read this one, in between 5, 6, then that is 5. In between 9 and 0, then that is 9. Then in between 4 and 5, then that's 4. In between 1 and 2, that is 1. So this is 5,941. So this is what I'm telling you. Then, if the pointer points directly on a number, then the pointer to the right is on or just past zero, then read the number only. So, just like here, letter C is directly pointing on 5. So, we will look at the next dial. And you can see that the pointer is pointing in between 0 and 1. It means that it is just past zero. Therefore, we will read letter C as 5. Okay? We will read letter C as 5 because dial D is just past zero or in between zero and one. Another is If the pointer to the right is not on zero, then read the lesser number. So, just like here. Um, in C, it is directly pointing to number 5. Then, D is pointing before 0. Before 0. So, it means that Okay. We will read this as letter. We will read this point as C4 and this one as 9. I will repeat the difference. If the pointer is directly pointing to a number, then look at the next dial. If the next dial is on or just past zero, just like in this um, dial D, it is past zero. So therefore, you will read dial C as 5, then dial D as 1. The next is... The next is here. It is directly pointing on 5. Then it is pointing between 9 and 0. So this means that it is not on or just past 0. So you will read the lesser number which is C4 then D9. So give the reading shown the dials of the electric meter so let's start with a in between 9 and 8 then that is 7 8 in between 5 and 4 4 
in between 2 and 3, 2, and in between 1 and 2, that is 1. So, 8,421. Then, let's proceed to water system. So, or water meter. So, water meter is a device that measures the volume of water consumption. It measures the water usage and generate data for billing. Volume can be expressed in cubic feet, cubic meter, or gallon. One cubic foot of water or about 4.48 gallons. I will repeat, one cubic foot of water or about 4.48 48 7.48 gallons so this one is an example of water meter so step one so how to read water meter this one is easier than reading electric meter so first is Read the numbers in the odometer from left to right. Then subtract your present reading from your previous reading. The difference is represents your water use in cubic feet during period. And multiply the water usage by 748. The product represents your volume of water usage in gallons during period. So, example, on October 14, the reading on the odometer is 45,680 cubic meter. Then, 10 days after, the reading on the odometer is 45,714 cubic meter. How much water was consumed in 10 days? So, simply subtract. 45,714 minus 45,680, that is 34 cubic meter. So that means that 34 cubic meter was consumed for 10 days. As easy as that. Previous minus present to get the um, water consumed. So, use the readings on the odometer to calculate the water consumption for the given period. Then, find the amount of water consumption in liters. So, here for the previous is 387 and for the present is 451 cubic meters so this is in cubic meters so how can we get the um, amount of water consumption then subtract 451 minus 387 then the consumption or 64 cubic meters then how can we convert this in liter 1 cubic meter is equal to 1,000 liter. So, 64 cubic meter is equivalent to 64,000 liters. I will repeat. How did we get 64,000 liters? 1 cubic meter is equal to 1,000 liters. Since we have 64 cubic meters, just multiply it to 1,000 to get 64,000 cubic liters. So next, electricity consumed in kilowatt hour. So how can we con um, compute for the electricity consumed in kilowatt hour? So we need the number of hours, number of days, and capacity in watts divided by 1,000. I will repeat number of hours num times number of days times capacity in watts divided by 1,000. So, our first example, Miss Moreno uses her 2,000 watts vacuum 2 hours daily. How, how many kilowatt per week will that be? So, first, how many hours? 
2 hours. Okay, 2 hours. Then, in 1 week, because we will uh, compute for 1 week, times 7. Then, 2,000 watts, 2,000 divided by 1,000. 1,000 is constant. You will not change 1,000 here. So, 2 times 7 is 14 times 2,000. 14 times 2,000 is 28,000 divided by 1,000. That is 28 kilowatt per hour. So she uses 28 kilowatt per hour, kilowatt per hour per week. So how did we get? I will repeat number of hours, 2 hours daily, number of days, 7 days. Then capacity in watts, 2,000, 2,000 divided by 1,000. For your activity, answer practice A on page 372. Take a photo of your answers and send it by a private message. Deadline March 16.